So guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, just simply come on the task number one. Scroll up a little bit. Copy this API name. Just copy that. Just simply click on the checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now just wait and just simply search over here in market marketplace. You can see just open this thing in new tab. Come back over here. And just simply click on enable. Now just wait for this task to get complete. And it's done. Now just simply come on the task number one. Copy this dataplex as a name. Just copy that. Just simply search over here. Click over here. Wait for a second. Click on this get started. Then click on this manage option. Now just simply click on create legs. Now for the display name, just simply scroll down. Copy this as a display name. Paste over here. Now just check the region. For me, the region is US East one. So I'm just going to choose that. So this is my region. So just choose that. No need to make any other changes. Just simply click on create. Now this thing is going to take a couple of minutes. So just wait. And it's finally done. Now just simply click on this display name. Now what you have to do? We have to just add zone. So just simply come on the task number two. Copy this name for the your display name. Just copy that. Click on this add zone. Just wait. Click over here like this. No need to make any other changes. Just click on create. Now just wait. Meanwhile, just simply come on the task number three. Copy this measurement as a display name. Just copy that. Now here, please pay attention. Click on this add zone name. Okay. Now just simply click on this add assist. Now from here just simply click on add. Then from here as a type name you have to just choose storage bucket. And that is the reason I didn't provide you the command line for this lab. Okay. So you have to just choose the storage bucket as a type. Now paste the name. Okay. Just simply scroll down. From here choose the browse. Then click on this bucket. And now what you have to do just copy your project ID paste over here and if you remember what was our zone so for me the zone was or you can say region was us east one for you it might be different so you have to just choose accordingly so what you do click on this continue from here choose a region and from here what was my region my region was us east one so it's already chosen for me so i'm not going to change for you it might be different so you have to just choose accordingly okay now just simply click on continue continue and from here uncheck this checkbox and choose the fine grains and click on continue and create just wait it's processing and it's done now click on the select and then just simply scroll down click on this done option and then click on this continue and from here you have to just choose inherit continue and submit now just wait for this task get complete so as you can see status is creating so just wait
and it's active now just before moving to task number four just make sure that you have to get score on the remaining task okay so i got a score on task number one let me just check the score for task number two and task number three as well okay so i got a score for all the three tasks now what you do just simply click over here and just, just simply click on delete assist then click on this delete now just wait for a second it will take a couple of seconds so just wait and assist are deleted now what we have to delete we have to just delete the zone so just simply click on this delete option then click on delete now it will take a couple of seconds and it will be done and it's done okay now just simply click on this delete option and from here just copy this paste over here and just simply click on delete leg and it's done now just simply scroll down come on the task number four click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue so sometimes task number four take a couple of minutes to update the score so no need to worry about that just keep hitting on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys